Today I will be doing a book subscription box unboxing from Owlcrate. So I'm really excited for this one. I say that with all my boxes, but I am really excited for this one. If you want some more information about them, I'm going to link that all down below, including the theme, because I'm not gonna lie, I've gotten so many book boxes this month and next month, and it's kind of hard to keep track of all the themes, so I'll be sure to put the theme in there as well in the description. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so learning my lesson from other book boxes. I will keep this on hand because I will need to know the themes for all these boxes. Um, but this was the Go Your Own Way box, looks like. Very excited, look at the art style on those, very nice. So um, this is a spoiler warning for all the different items that are kind of in the box. So um, if I don't know what they are, I'll look through and be sure to let you know. Um, I do see a box, ooh, mystery, mystery wrapped in gift, nope, just a mystery box. Um, do I want to open that first? No. Okay, I've got, I've got this first, let's open this up first. Um, so we've got what looks like a lunch tote, ooh! Do I, do I know what this is? I don't know if I necessarily know this scene, but it's, oh, it's nice, a little, little lunch bag. I really want to say I know what this is from. This is Terrison. This sounds so familiar. Okay, I need to I need to look this one up. Da, 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 da. Um, Terrison. It is from Throne of Glass. I knew it was from Throne of Glass. That's the one fandom, you guys, that I know. The one from this Throne of Glass. I knew I knew I recognized it. Ah, I'm so excited it was from Throne of Glass. That is exciting. Okay. Um. I actually lose my lunch bags all the time for work, so this would be interesting to take to work. Oh, how does this even open? Oh, okay, so it is Velcro. Excuse the noise. Let's just do it. Oh, oh, that's actually really nicely, like, oh, I think I broke it a little bit. Oh, no. Bunny bay. Um, but yeah, it's got some insulin, like, thermal, kind of, so for keeping things hot, keep things cold in there. So very nice. This will be really good for a lunch kit. I like it. Sorry about that. Oh no. Okay, now to the mystery box that I found. Ooh, what's this one? Oh, oh, this is a thermos. This looks like a thermos. It is a thermos. Summer was. Oh, let me just. Okay, let me open it up for you. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. So it says, "Summer was a book of hope." And yeah, it's like a drink thermos. Oh, that's, look at the design on that. Oh, and it's, that's metal. That's not like, oh, okay. This is probably one of the nicest things I've gotten in these boxes for like quality wise and stuff. That's, oh, so this will go with my lunch tin here. I will look at the spoiler card to see what fandom that's from. That's other things that I'm already getting spoilers for. Um, I don't know what fandom this is actually from, so I apologize about that. Um, if you guys know what it is, I'm really sorry, but it is it is really, really pretty, and I really am happy with that. That will go with lunch tote. Very nice. Okay, we've got a... We've got a nice little velvet bag. Excuse the plastic. That feels like, like a coin of some kind, which... Oh. What we got here? Owl Crate, designed with love by Iron and Ink Designs. Oh yes, I should tell you who made that um, lunch tote. Um, inspired design that artist Janine Lacour designed exclusively for this box. So there you go. So good job, Janine Lacour. As I said, I can't find. Oh, drinkware. Here we are. We want to keep you cool this summer with the next installment of our 2021 Reading Through the Seasons Drinkware Collection. There you go. Artist Macarena Chomik drew inspiration from the seaside when illustrating the florals for our insulated water bottle. The quote is from Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alir Sayed. So there you go. That is the um, thermos bottle that I got 
there's the cheat sheet for that. So, okay. So as I said, um, this looks like it is a coin. <sighs> Rough seas. Trade Council of the Narrows. Smooth sailing. Port of Saros. Five coffers. That is that is gorgeous, guys. I don't know if you can tell. Like that is. Come on, come on. Focus camera. Can I put my hand there to focus on it. I wish, I wish this could focus a little bit better. I don't know why it's not, but that is, that is gorgeous. That is, ooh, that's, it's heavy too. It's a heavy coin. Okay, this one I remember seeing here two seconds ago. Iron and Ink Designs. So there you go, crafted a unique fictional souvenir straight from the pages of the Fable Duology. Okay. Flip this decision coin whenever you're feeling indecisive about your next move, and its results will help you find the path you're meant to take. So, there you go. It is from Fable. This will actually go really, really well with, um, because I don't have the Fable books right now, but my friend has been wanting me to read them, so they are on my TBR pile. I didn't say 2BR this time, so there we go. But I do have a, a couple kind of pirate um, books that this will look gorgeous kind of with in pictures, so... I'm really happy with that. That is, that is gorgeous. I'll put it back in the thing. Okay. Oh, we've got a really nice enamel pin. You can be more than what the stars wish for. Look at that. Oh, wish I could get better focus on these. It's hard to tell. I'll post a picture and post as well a little bit closer of some of these things that you can't see because of my camera and everything. It's not the best. I apologize, but... This is a really gorgeously designed enamel pin. Um, this one is, I just saw here. Where did it go? I do remember seeing this here just a few minutes ago. Icy Designs drew inspiration from the Ruby Bloodstone when designing this glittery enamel pin for Sisters of the Snake. Which, oh! So there you go. So it says, I think this is inspired from the book that I got. So there you go. Very nice. Uh, next off, we've got another, another kind of metal thing. It feels like very heavy. Comes in another kind of velvet pouch. There's a lot of, a lot of nice, like really good quality goodies in there. Good job, Owl Crate. Oh, oh. Bottle opener. No story ever truly ends as long as it is told. That look, it's a key, but it's a bottle opener. Oh my gosh! Look at that, guys, guys. Owl crate just. And I think I think it's magnetic, so you can put this on your fridge. Okay. Wow, guys, this is this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Owl Owl crate just killing it, killing it right now with like the quality of items and like they're gorgeous. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Okay, so this one. Um, we're adding some bookish vibes to your kitchen with a Starless Sea inspired enamel bottle opener designed by Pineapple Sunday. Keep it handy on your fridge, it doubles as a magnet. So there we go. So Pineapple Sundays, that is a beautiful, beautiful bottle opener. So from Starless Sea, I'll have to keep an eye out for that. Okay, um, so I think that is all the items that in the box. Those were really, really pretty. So now we have the book. Oh, wait, nope. I, I lied. There's go there's goodies underneath here. Okay, well, first off, I'll show you guys the book. So it's wrapped in plastic wrap. It's really, really pretty. It is Sisters of the Snake. Okay, so yeah, so this enamel pin is designed to go with this book. It's very nice. So I will understand the reference when I read this. Hi, guys. So funny story. My camera ran out of space while filming, so all the stuff that I just kind of finished unboxing didn't get filmed. So we're going to try this again. Um, so it did get cut off kind of as I was reading the back here. So I'm just going to reread the author letter on the back of the book here, which Sisters of the Snakes. Sisters of the Snake. So let's go. Dear All Great Reader, Welcome to the world of Sisters of the Snake, where magic, forbidden romance, a looming war, and the two long-lost sisters await. Orphan plus princess equals twin swap. 
Rhea and Rani were born out of a desire to see two brown twins on the page, wielding magic and discovering the bonds of sisterhood. Within these pages, you'll find a sassy talking snake, dark prophecies, and a lush Indian fantasy world that will sweep you away. Enjoy! So there we go. That's the author card. Hopefully my phone will not run out of space while I finish filming the rest of this. There's just a couple more goodies in here that you guys didn't get to enjoy. Um, the first one was a beautifully illustrated, um, I think, bookmark from the Six Crimson Cranes. Um, I don't know who designed this. I couldn't find it on the cheat sheet, but this is absolutely beautiful. I wanted to show it off to you. Really great. And the best... Well, maybe not the best thing in the soul book, but like it's it's absolutely gorgeous and stunning. So I will read the, the card for this. So Strange the Dreamer, more like Strange the Dreamy. We can't get over this lovely foil art print of Laszlo and Sarai illustrated by Kim Kurlika underscore art. Look at how gorgeous this artwork is. Like, I'm just, I'm digging it. It's, it's beautiful. So good job, Kim Kurlika art. Okay, and then I think here we just have a couple little fun goodies in here. We've got a Throne of Glass bookish crossword puzzle. Um, if you like this book, it gives you some... Oh, look at that! Fire was fire! Haha, <laughs> that's one of the ones I got from another book box, so I'm already reading that one. And so far it's really good, but I won't say any too much spoilers because it's, it's going on a review down the road here. Um, so we've got the photo challenge, they have their social medias, um, there's also a social, uh, sorry, a Spotify playlist to kind of listen along for, for the books, so that's really cool. Other releases we're excited about, Darling, which I did also get from another box, so I'm excited to read that one. Um, some of these I don't see here, but that's exciting. And then uh, just a little card of what they have for next month, which I did get, called Potions and Poisons. That's their sneak peek for July. So let's see what we've got here. Um, every July box will contain a kitchen item designed by Amy Mack Illustration. So there we go. So a kitchen item that's based off of this design. So really excited for that. Okay, well, that is the Alcrate book box for this month. I am super excited about it. As I said, these items that I got were absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, I can't really say anything wrong about this box. It was beautiful. I'm excited to read the book here. As I said, it's going to go on my pile to read later. But thanks again for coming to my channel. We'll see you all next time. Bye!